no shade, no tea. Destiny knows how it is. I do not and will not and would not ever be in a relationship with her again. With her? Well, like that. She, her? I literally feel Did she just say her? Like she's like a cousin or something. And I know she feels the same way. What the did she just say? She said her? And then she said, it feels like she's her cousin. Like she's like a cousin or something. And I know she feels- Wait, so there's a lot of pro to process here. So is she, is she a lesbian or is she bi? Oh, and if she's talking about her ex-girlfriend, why did she say that it feels like she was her cousin? What in the Alabama- Hey everyone, yes, I am a little low, but let me just get closer so now you can't see it. Basically, I'm not wearing anything down there besides my underwear. Don't even think about that shit. I'm wearing my underwear because it's very hot outside and I don't feel like wearing any pants or anything. So I have to like, okay, we're fine. I have to like be careful on what I show. <laughs> Because I'm not wearing anything, don't judge me, it's just hot outside. Anyways, there's this YouTuber called Amberlyn Ray. I've never heard of her before, but she was recommended to me with the video Addressing the Rumors. I love it when people do the Addressing the Rumors. Because basically, they never address anything, and they only pick the rumors that they want to. Just a bunch of bullshit. I heard that you don't like strawberries. Is that true? Well, I don't want to sound controversial or anything, but like... Really though, she, they only pick questions that they want to answer. So keep in mind that I know nothing about her. Honestly, I had to do some research, believe it or not. And I learned that she's on a weight loss journey. She, she's had cancer. She lies about everything and anything that she can. So that's basically all I know. Hey guys. What the fuck just happened? Hi. So welcome to- I have never seen that before. I know people usually put intros in their videos. But I have never seen it that early. Look at this. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Why even bother saying hey guys when you can just start it with your intro? Why say hey guys? Just put the intro and then continue the video. Oh, I have 77 rumors or assumptions. We're either going to confess to Why 77? Or up. And I don't know how I got this many. I literally oh was my just God, screenshotting, too screenshotting, many. screenshotting because I posted this on Instagram. This is a 30 minute video. You know damn well, not even 1% of your viewers watched 30 minutes of just you reading rumors. No way on earth. And I just kept screenshotting and screenshotting and then I was like, wait a minute, this is like so many. So I went back and counted how many yeah. and it was some weird number in the 60s and I personally don't like the number six. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna screenshot until I get to 70 and then I actually accidentally did like 74. So then I was like, let's do 77 because 77 is my favorite number. Even though there was a lot of questions that I had already screenshotted, but I felt like I didn't like the number 60. So I screenshotted more until I got to 70 something. <laughs> I cannot make this shit up. Thank God this is a video. So we have a lot of talking to do. I'm gonna try to get through these as fast as possible. So if you guys are watching this and you're just automatically gonna call me a liar, then move on. Lie number one, right there, fast as possible. 30 minutes fast as possible yeah yeah i'm gonna hit that doubt button right there you hate pedicures i don't hate them really? but i definitely would not go get them done professionally because oh my god i don't want people you cannot be serious feet, especially if you're strangers this is another eugenia cooney video if you didn't watch that video it was basically eugenia cooney answering the most random rumors 
How is that a rumor? You don't like pedicure? Are you serious? How is that addressing the rumors? You think it's really gonna be some controversial questions that she doesn't like answering, but like, you don't like pedicure. You know damn well she just picked like the, the most random questions and she ignored all the serious, serious ones that she didn't want to answer. So since I don't know shit about her, there's a video called Emberlyn Raid summed up in one video. A YouTube channel for weight loss. The lowest weight I ever remember Wait, what? being was when I was 11 years old, I weighed 290 pounds. A weight? <sighs> Just embrace yourself. This is this is quite the video. No, no, that must be a recent video. Oh my god. When did she start this weight loss journey? Seven Amberlin. Ambi. Ambi. Seven years ago? Ambi. You cannot be serious. I am so sorry. Wait, did she get cancelled? What happened? I wanna know. Did she get cancelled for doing something? Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly make this video because what did she do? I noticed what's been being said right now. Um, Ambi, I am not going to say this word. Oh, Ambi, because I personally did not know the meaning behind it. I was. Did she say the N word or something? You you're telling me that she's an American and she didn't know. No, I don't, I don't even know if this is the n-word. It was called that a lot in high school. Wait, what did they call her? a lot of people. It was a word that people would just say and throw around. Was it the n-word? I did not know the meaning behind it. I said it today in live stream. I don't even remember saying it, but I know that I said it, but it- That kind of contradicts itself, Ambi. She knows that she said it. But she doesn't remember saying it. So if she remembers saying it and doesn't remember saying that it said the word, then what the fuck is she talking about? It literally just came so freely out of my mouth that I didn't even realize I said it because I didn't know there was this horrible thing behind it it is my fault that i did not have what did you say it was just some made up word that people that i went to school with made up imagine if she said the n-word and her apology video is like uh i do not remember saying the n-word what even is the n-word what are people talking about i mean i know i've heard people say that it's very racist and i shouldn't say it and i know where it comes from i literally know the story but i just don't know what the n-word is like i used to say it a bunch of times but now i don't know what it means i completely forgot about it somehow this video is so fucking funny how do you not remember saying whatever word she said but she said that she knows what she said oh shit okay Only wait who's the who's the girl is that a friend? Sister? Okay, I don't know what dream Matt Mouse for all your products. Wait, you have to tell me what Matt That's Mouse moose. is. Moose. Oh. That's not Mouse. She did not. This is one S, babe. Wait, I know. What's going <laughs> People are going to think I was really like being. Hair moose. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Uh, wait, wait. What the fuck just happened? Did Was her friend telling her that it's a moose and not a mouse? So she didn't know the difference between a moose and a mouse. So her friend had to correct her. Oh my god, look at the dog. The dog is like, is this bitch that stupid? Is this dumb bitch really that stupid? But I gotta keep my mouth shut because they feed me so I can't say anything. That's probably what the dog thinks. You're actually still in love with Destiny. This is Wait, such... who's Destiny? <laughs> I got this probably more than any other assumption okay what's guys, the assumption i am not in love with destiny like her ex-boyfriend in any shape or form i don't know how many times that i literally have to say it i wish someone would hook me up to a lie detector test i can tell you that much i'm guessing she's talking about her ex-boyfriend as someone who doesn't know her i at this point i honestly don't know shit what she's talking about she's saying that she's not in love with her ex-boyfriend no shade no tea destiny knows how it is 
I do not and will not and would not ever be in a relationship with her again. With her? Well, like that. She, her? I literally feel Did she just say her? Like she's like a cousin or something. And I know she feels the same way. What the fuck did you just say? She said her? And then she said, it feels like she's her cousin. Like she's like a cousin or something. And I know she feels- Wait, so there's a lot of pro to process here. So is she, is she a lesbian or is she bi? Oh, and if she's talking about her ex-girlfriend, why did she say that it feels like she was her cousin? What in the Alabama is going on? Is she from Alabama? Is Amberlynn- What's her name? Amberlynn... Emma Chamberlain? Raid. Amberlynn Raid. Is she from Alabama? Is she talking about her ex-girlfriend? I have so many questions. Amberlynn. Amby. Emma. Emma Chamberlain. Are you okay? Amberlynn Raid speaks about men. Wait, whoa, whoa. So... Hold up. This is where I find out if she's a... If she's a lesbian, straight, or bi. When did you first realize you liked girls genuinely asking? Oh, me so she's a lesbian. Me too. And I've just always known. I have so had. So she's a lesbian. I don't like to admit this. A lot of boyfriends. I'm like literally at the age of five, I like had a girlfriend. Like, I'm not going to lie. The age of five? The age of five. The age of five. At the age of five, I remember I still couldn't clean my own ass. And you're over here telling me that the age of five, five, where you could barely speak a full fucking sentence, you had a boyfriend. That, was that just like a random question? Was that boyfriend like a cousin of yours? I mean, if she's from Alabama, I would not be surprised. It, was that like a cousin? all the way until I was 18, like even at a young age, I thought I was bisexual. It's just okay. always felt super so natural she's to me a to lesbian. like females. I never had a moment where I even questioned that part of me ever. Yes, we support a lesbian queen who dates cousins? No, not that part. We support the first part, but not the second part, you know? So now everything adds up. This girl right here was her ex, Becky. So didn't she say Destiny though? So who's Des- is Destiny the ex after Becky or- Oh my god, how many exes do we have over here? You enjoy the negative attention. No, not in the way that you guys probably think. It's like- <laughs> Sometimes I appreciate it because it keeps the ball rolling, but I don't like so, the negative attention where people make up shit. Like that's the part where I'm just like, okay, we need to slow down for a second because by making up stuff, my literal reputation on YouTube is created by a bunch of people who hate me. Beck, no, that Becky was her ex. Uh, what was her name? Em Emma. No, that's Emma Chamberlain. What the fuck was her name again? Amberlynn, Lynn, Amby, you're saying that you kind of like the negative energy because because it gets the ball rolling, but then you're like, I do not like the ener the negative energy because of the rumors and stuff, so I don't like the negative energy. Make up your fucking mind. Do you like the negative energy? Or do you not like the negative energy? And she said it herself that her reputation is basically just rumors and shit. If you're continuing with the rumors, I'm guessing you do like the negative energy. For a while there, I was like, oh my god, am I crazy? Like, am I this? Am I these ways that people make me seem to be? But then everyone in my real life is like, Amberlynn, no. We know the real you calm down it's okay if it wasn't for the people in my real life i probably um would be going more crazy than i'm already going Amby, i don't even know you to be honest but you do realize that you're showing the internet what you want to show no one's forcing you to show anything or fake anything she needs to understand that 
she's the cause of all of these rumors. Reputation on YouTube is created by a bunch of people who hate me. And it's like, for a while there, I was like, oh my god, am I crazy? Like. Poor Ambie, she just gets so much hate. I mean, yeah, she might have started the rumors, but don't blame her, she's only the victim, guys. People are so mean on the internet nowadays. Just because a person is out there coming up with a bunch of fucking lies, and yeah, that might start rumors, but that's still not her fault. Guys, you have to think outside the box here, which means... Don't blame Ambi. Wait, new wife? What just, did she just break up with her ex? So now the ex is an ex. And she has another ex. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this channel? <laughs> this channel is so fucking chaotic. I feel like every month there's gonna be a new ex. The reason why I'm gaining weight You, you did not just call a video the reason why I'm gaining weight. I'm not trying to be rude, but... Eating. There is your answer. If you guys were wondering, why was she gaining weight? Eating. Honestly, not trying to be rude, just trying to save you guys 10 minutes of your time. If you were wondering, there you go, there's your answer. Anyways, I honestly don't know shit about her. Obviously, this whole channel is just so chaotic. If you have more deep, juicy information that I should know, let me know because I got nothing else to do all day and I, might, and I might just do a part two. So far, it sounds very messed up, MB. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna defend you because you seem like a nice person at the beginning, but I don't know if I can defend you anymore, MB. I'm, I'm sorry. You just, you just lost me with all the chaotic shit if you guys enjoyed this video hit like subscribe and the bell icon i'll see you on the next one i think on the next one i might do the q a for hitting 30,000 subscribers i don't know if i've hit it yet so if i have congrats to me i'll see you on the next one i upload frequently because i have no life